Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. Woohoo, Freelichi Friday on a Friday. I feel like it's been a long time. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you guys have had a good November is kind of what it feels like. Um, and an awesome Thanksgiving. Hopefully everybody had a wonderful, amazing, relaxing, didn't eat too much Thanksgiving day yesterday, right? Um, always nice to get together with friends and family, even if it's in small bits, right? These days I know we can't um, gather like we normally would, right? But hopefully you were able to spend time with people that you love yesterday and maybe all weekend long too. So hello, Miss Teresa. My favorite part actually about yesterday, we just went around the corner to my sister's house for Thanksgiving and um, I loved, honestly, my most favorite part was snuggling on the couch with my kids. It was like a mom sandwich, I'm calling it. I had Kate on one side and Lily on the other. And we were just snuggle up, watching some football, hanging out with my sister and her family. And it was a, just a great, great day. So hopefully you guys had a good day too. So hello, welcome you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. I know Friday after Thanksgiving, is everybody, maybe, I never really know if, I gonna, if I'm going to have many people joining me or if everybody's out shopping, like looking for Black Friday deals. We are actually heading out um, to do a little shopping after Facebook Live. Um, so yeah, maybe we will find some deals too. So yeah, but let's jump right in. If you haven't joined me before uh, for uh, Facebook Friday for Frilici Friday, I generally pick one like stamp set or product or bundle. And this week I picked the, I love, this is such a cute, the sweetest time stamp set so you can see the stamp set right here this is one of those um, sets that like as I flip through the catalog over the last couple of months just always caught my eye and I bought it a little bit ago and just finally had the time to play with it and then we've got the coordinating dies here too they are called the sweetest border dies so you can see you can make some fun borders like with um, kind of the um, candles um, that sort of look and then also with the um, candy cakes and then a bunch of other little images there as well. But let me tell you about the sentiments in this stamp set. We have, for you with Christmas cheer, bright and peaceful wishes to you this Christmas, wishing you the sweetest season, which usually involves sweets, right? Um, love and light to you, and all is calm, all is bright. Hey, Deb, welcome. Glad you can hang out with us today. So super cute stamp set. I can't wait to share the projects that I designed with you guys today, featuring that sweetest time stamp set and then the sweetest borders dies, right? So let's see, we have other things to tell you guys about. In the meantime, we'll do the um, card making in just a little bit, all right? Uh, so let me scoot that out of the way. I gotta check my notes. I feel like I haven't done this in a while, you guys. So actually, did anybody take advantage of the, Merry and Bright um, extravaganza, like the online sale that Stampin' Up! had. Basically, they had so much stuff on sale. It was an awesome, awesome sale. And then they had like some technical, like technology difficulties or something. So it was only supposed to be 24 hours on um, Tuesday this past week, but because of all the issues, they extended it to Wednesday too. So hopefully you guys knew about that, were able to shop and get some deals. Um, Cause yeah, I mean, why not get a, a deal on your Stampin' Up! stuff, right? Even like cardstock was on sale. Um, so just lots of basic stuff too. Um, was great time to stock up on things. So. Yeah, um, let's see, I think we're gonna jump right in. Um, let's do our first drawing. We are drawing for the all the trimmings embellishments. So just a fun, bright package of embellishments. You've got some, these are Poppy Parade and Whisper Weight Circles in small and large. And then I'm gonna say Bumblebee Stars too. So just a really cute package of um, embellishments that you could win, right? If, two ways to win, right? If you shared the Facebook Live video, the last video that I did, anytime, between when I did the video, for example, even right now you could be sharing this video, um, and Thursday night at like, I don't know, 10 o'clock or whenever I actually prep for a Facebook Live. Um, so yeah, you've got lots of time. Share the video, share, 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 share. Share on your personal page, share on any, um, um, groups that you're a part of. I love that crafting groups because that helps me reach new stamping friends, right? Hey, Nikki. Yay. So glad you can be here. I hope things are good out in Salt Lake City area. I don't even know what the weather's like out there. It's kind of gray and dreary here today. I wasn't even going to talk about it because I'm like, eh, just not, it's not beautiful here. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunny. So looking forward to the sun, seeing the sun tomorrow. Hey, Carolyn, thank you for joining us. So anyway, back to, yeah, my drawing. So 
share the Facebook Live video. That's how you could get your name in the drawing. Or if you have not signed up for my email list, go ahead and do that. I always put the link and the details to this Facebook Live video. You click right on it and um, sign up for my Facebook or um, for my email list. So either way, you get your name in the drawing. So we are going to do our drawing right now. And let me see for the all the trimmings and embellishments. I gotta always have to separate things get a little bit stuck together sometimes so I gotta separate them all shake them all around and let's see I have I have two I'm whittling it down I got one in my hand now and Miss Sunday congratulations Miss Sunday Ostrander it took a while for that to get into view so congratulations Sunday the embellishments are yours um, I will have them for you down at the stamp studio so congratulations Miss Sunday all righty all right let me dump these things out so I'm ready for the next drawing. So do you guys want to know what we're going to give away on next Friday's Facebook Live? Again, if you share this Facebook Live video anytime between now and Thursday night, or if you're new to me and you haven't signed up for my email list, go ahead and do that. You will get your name in the drawing to win. These are the beautiful, I love these, the blue adhesive backed gem. So they've got like mini glue dots behind them. And they say, I believe these are called Bashful Blue and these are Night of Navy. But can you just see? They're so faceted, so many different colors. You can kind of bend these things to be whatever color you need them to be. These are probably my favorite embellishment, honestly, out of the holiday catalog. So super excited to give these away on next Friday's Facebook Live, okay? We are just rolling right along. I think I'm excited to go shopping, actually, as part of what's happening here. So, um, but let's see, what else do I wanna do? Um, oh, well, okay, so again, if you are new to me, because I know it's, this time of year, um, people have like crazy schedules too, right? So hopefully um, some new people are joining us. So I just wanna make sure you know, if you put an online order in through me, use the host code that I give you. It's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I also put it in the details to this YouTube, or um, this Facebook Live, which I'll also goes on YouTube, um, this Facebook Live video, you automatically get the projects that I demonstrate. So for example, last Facebook Live, these were the two projects that I demonstrated. So anybody that put an online order in using the host code um, gets these two cards as a thank you from me in the mail. They also get their name in the drawing to win, this is fun, right? The Sweetest Time stamp set. So this is the stamp set that I'm gonna be showing you guys some fun projects with. So if you put an online order in, your name is in the drawing to win the Sweetest Time stamp set. If you bumped your order up to over $50, you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. We have a new tutorial every single month, 16 projects in here color pictures, step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make all the projects in here. You can pick this with your $50 order or the November free embellishment is, again, my favorite, the uh, blue adhesive backed gem. So hello, Don. thank you for joining us. So yeah, $50 order, you get to pick either one of these things as well. So it's a great deal. I love to give rewards as thank yous for your orders. So with that being said, we've got a couple of entries. Again, you guys, I still don't get that many online orders, so the, your odds are always so good of winning you automatically get these two cards right if your name is in my little basket right now i've put the um, order names in here dumped the other ones out um and then we are going to draw now for the sweetest time stamp set such a cute stamp set you guys are going to love this especially after you see it um as i do the um, projects that we're going to make in just a few minutes so okay here we go we are drawing for we've got one name in here, and it is Miss Kay Jacoby. Congratulations, Kay, and thank you for your order. Thank you, everybody, for your online orders. Um, but Miss Kay is the winner of the Sweetest Time stamp set. So thank you, thank you so much, Kay. I will get this stamp set out to you along with those um, projects from last Friday's Facebook Live video. Okay, we're scooting those things out of the way. Oops. All right, so now, do you guys wanna know what I'm gonna give away? Again, use the same host code. Um, I will give that to you in just a couple minutes. Actually, I will figure, I'm gonna put that right there right now, so I'm all ready for that. So on uh, next Friday's Facebook Live, we are going to give away, this is another such a cute stamp set, the Gnome for the Holidays, instead of Home, right? Gnome for the Holidays stamp set with those cute little gnomes. These are like all the rage, the little gnomes right now. I have a friend who um, is making these, uh, and I've seen videos on YouTube too, um, to learn how to make them. I haven't done, I haven't made one yet, but I'm kind of curious about it. But they're just so, they're so cute. I have a couple of store-bought 
gnomes. And actually there's one that's a reindeer, but he's got like a big belly. He kind of looks like a gnome too. So stuffed little guy. So, okay, let me tell you. And Nancy, hello, thank you for joining us. So sentiments on this stamp set are, there's no place like gnome for the Christmas season. You're a friend like gnome other, a little Christmas wish and holly jolly everything. And then all those cute, like the little gnomes and the little, when I would almost love to like live in a little tree house like that, just so cute, huh? So this is what we will give away on next Friday's Facebook Live. Okay, glare, eh. And it's funny, I just found this note um, that I wrote to myself. I like scribble notes on pieces of paper and put them all over the house for like whatever I, wherever I'm at that I need to know about these things. And this one clearly was not in the right spot because it's in like my Facebook Live stuff. and. I didn't need to know about this on Facebook Live, and I'm kind of annoyed because I was supposed to deal with it yesterday. So, whoops, that's just the way it goes, though. Um, you know, when you get older and you can't remember anything, you have to write it all down, and then you forget, like, where you put your notes. I think that's what happened there. So, oh, well, <laughs> that's how that goes. So, okay, let me show you. So, we had our um, team meeting. It's been, it wasn't last Tuesday. It's always the third Tuesday of the month. So, um and the governor here in Michigan had just put in like the, the another like stay at home order. So I thought we were going to be able to have our meeting um, live down at the stamp studio. And then pff, at the last minute we had to go um, online only. But I have to show you guys um, the cards that the make and takes that we made um, as part of our meeting or we were going to make. And then I um, got them out to everybody. But they're beautiful and they are similar to. So if you guys remember this card that I demonstrated on Facebook Live, so it's kind of like that stand-up card, right? And it lifts up like this. So that's where I got this idea from after I did our meeting make and takes. I was like, oh, I wanna do this one for you guys on Facebook Live. But here, check out, these are actually featuring the um, poinsettia place bundle, but same idea, right? There we go, you can get it into view. So, oops, I'm holding it together, that's why, it, like, so there. So it stands up like that, right? And then you open it and you still have lots of room and it fits in like a regular um, envelope. So isn't that so pretty with the poinsettia and that wood green paper? So there's one. We've got this pretty Merry Christmas on this one. And again, we've got that right there. Aren't those beautiful? So if you wanna know how to um, cut and score this card, watch my last Facebook Live video featuring the trimming the town suite either on facebook live or on youtube you can search at either one um, and you can learn how to cut and score and make these cards because they're so beautiful aren't they especially with that point set of place um suite just gorgeous gorgeous products cannot stop playing with that either I played with it so much this holiday season so that's another thing i want to make sure to mention because we're what just at the very end of November, so you still have time. If you are thinking, oh my gosh, I really wanna make some Christmas cards, get your order in, like do it ASAP so that you can get all your products shipped out to you and you can actually make your cards and get them out to people in time for Christmas, like maybe right before Christmas, right? So kind of getting down to the wire here, or if gifts, that's another great thing too. If you're thinking about gifts for yourself, make a little wish list, give it to your husband or your kids or your family or friends or whoever, tell them to use the host code too, right? And then they could win you some more free stuff on Facebook Live. So lots of great ideas. You still have time to get those orders in and get your holiday projects made, or like I said, holiday gifts for yourself or someone else that you know that loves to craft. Okay, all right, um, I think we are ready. I'm kind of checking my notes, but I think we are good. I have um, another thing I wanna show you guys, but I think it's better to turn the camera down. So we're gonna do that. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm all organized as usual. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. We are gonna, I wanna show you, like I said, one more thing, and then we will make our projects for today. Okay, so we're flipping that. There we go. So this is the host code that I was talking about. Hello, Miss Debbie. Glad you can be here with us. So this is the host code that you'll want to use anytime between now and next Wednesday to get your name in the drawing to win the gnome for the holiday stamp set. Okay. The NMDTRRD2 is your host code for this month. Okay. So in the meantime, I have to show you guys because we had scrapbook class 
Um, well, kind of virtually, actually. We weren't able to actually hold it live either, um, but always the last Tuesday of the month, which was this Tuesday just before Thanksgiving. So this is one of the pages. Uh, yes, happy day after Thanksgiving to you too, Miss Debbie. Um, featuring, this is the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. And I think, right? And then I'm trying to remember with this. This is not like warm hugs. Maybe it's a warm hug stamp set. But I love that sentiment. Let the joy of the season fill your heart with those pretty little red rhinestones, right? And I love that ribbon too, that mossy meadow diagonal striped ribbon. So there, that was one of the pages in here. This is like our second, like, so there's one. And then there's the other, the other coordinating page that we made. Friends and family are the truest gifts of Christmas. Of course they are, right? And then with some more of the... Um, heartwarming hugs designer series paper on that page too so fun pages that we made and then we have one more i'm not going to spoil we always do two page layouts we do three pages so we did those two pages i just showed you and then a single page spread so what i'm not going to show you is the other half of the single page spread because i don't want to spoil it for anybody that's coming to scrapbook class at the end of december we will be making our other half of this page but this one again features the point set of place designer series paper love this May magic and wonder bloom this holiday with some of that real red, um, is it the linen trim I think it's called? I'm trying to remember now. Hello, Miss Kay. Thank you for joining us. And then these are beautiful, right? So again, the poinsettia petals, gorgeous. I just love this with that little spriggy guy made with some of the metallic, the brushed metallic paper. And then one of those beaded pearls. Isn't that beautiful? Good morning, Miss Kay. So glad you can be here. So anyway, beautiful scrapbook pages um, that we just made. So I had to share those with you guys also. Okay, so I think we are ready. I'm like just making sure here. Uh, yeah, but let me grab, I'm gonna grab my my grid paper. So we're going to scoot this up and out of the way. But like I said, this host code is always on my blog and it's always um, in the details to this Facebook live video in case you need that for your ordering. Okay. So I think I feel like I'm in view there. All right. Very good. Okay. So here we go. Again, featuring the sweetest time stamp set that Miss K just won. Kay, you might not have even been on here when I drew your name, but congratulations, Kay. You are the proud owner of the Sweetest Time stamp set. And now you're gonna have some fun project ideas to make with your stamp set. So this is the first card that I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys today. I love kind of using the non-traditional colors. And what it also made me realize was these candles, right, in this um, stamp set, it would be great for um, like a birthday card too. So I've got some, like I said, not completely traditional holiday colors here. Obviously the red kind of really makes it holiday, but that blue misty moonlight, kind of bends it a little bit. But again, I think you could definitely use something fun even with this layout or something very similar um, and make it a birthday card too with those um, birthday candles instead of holiday candles, right? So, okay, um, let me, let's get everything out that we need, kind of. I always get everything out and then I always have to move everything. But I think I'm gonna get my stamps out right now. Okay. So I think we are good. So let me tell you about some measurements of things, first of all. So we have our card base. You're welcome, Miss Kay. Thank you for your order. Okay, so here we go. This is Misty Moonlight um, piece of cardstock, right? So this is our card base. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card as always, right? Then we have a piece of the plaid tidings designer series paper. This is one of my favorite, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I feel like I have a little fleck in my throat. How does that happen? It's dry. Hmm. Hold on, I have to get a sip of water real quick. Hmm. Anyway, like I was saying, my favorite, and I think this kind of looks Valentine-y too. There's something about this. Could be holiday, could be Valentine's Day. Um, kind of the reddy pink colors in it, I think, make it seem like a Valentine's Day also. So anyway, heart or um, plaid tidings designer series paper. And then I love this pattern too. Something about the fun colors in that plaid. Anyway, okay. So this piece of designer series paper measures two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that's going to go right on there. And then we just have some scraps of Whisper White to do our stamping and die cutting. And I already made some of, because we only have one of these dies, so I trimmed um, 
some of these little sprigs already. So we'll make one more because I needed four of them. And then I did um, use one of the candles because the stamp, when you stamp them, you get all three of them. I only used two of them, so I had this one left over. So I've already stamped and cut this, but we will stamp because you have to fussy cut. The, unfortunately, the dies do not cut these things out, but it's super easy, super quick, easy cuts um, to cut those candles out. So not a big deal. All right. Ooh, and then kind of the whole um, start of this card was, and I think I showed you guys this a couple weeks ago, but this red velvet paper, I had die cut this piece with that, um, those, the stitch so sweetly dies you can can, can you kind of see if I get close there you can see like the little um, stitching and then the scallop border edge so this piece has been sitting on my craft table well hey Pam how are you I just see your name popping up thank you for sharing too um, yeah so anyway this piece has been sitting on my craft table just dying to use this red can you hear it there, it's velvet, red velvet paper. I've just been so wanting to use this paper. So finally, I was like, okay, that's what we're gonna do. It works perfectly on this card. So we're gonna use, um, this is just another scrap piece of the red velvet paper. Okay, so let's do our stamping and then we will do our die cutting. I've got that, I also need, I think I'm gonna stamp off of things too in a sec. All right, well, let's get our first is our love and light to you. So we're gonna ink that up and we're gonna put that right there. This is real red ink in case you um, want to know that. So we've got that one. Then we are gonna use some Misty Moonlight cardstock. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to cut, I'm gonna go do that because I wanna, I wanna show you guys, or at least maybe I'll just show that to you right now. This one's pretty simple because I was like, why do we have all these stamps out here? But on the inside, yeah, because I forgot to cut this white piece. But at the very end, this is what I would have done, right? So we've got the bright and peaceful wishes to you this Christmas with some of the little berries and then the holly. Um, and this is just jade and real red, the berries and then the sentiment too. So I'll have to do that later um, unless I decide I want to go cut that piece. We'll see. Let's just see how things go in making this card. But if not, just know that, that that was kind of a fun little add to the inside of the card. Okay, so now I have, as I'm talking, my Misty Moonlight ink. What I want to do is kind of put that underneath there because I just really only need, actually, let's go this way. I only need that tall candle. Oops. So I do want to make sure, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab, this will be helpful, having this piece underneath here too. Always with these photopolymer stamps, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you need to make sure this gets inked up really well, and then I think it's best with the photopolymer to work, um, put that pad underneath your paper, and then it stamps beautifully. All right, so we've got that in Misty Moonlight. And then the other thing we need is so saffron. We're going to um, light our candle, right? Give a little. And that I do like to use my, there's something about that that helps me guide when I use my pointer finger there. It helps me guide that stamp down to where I want it. Okay, so I think, are we good? I think we are. If not, I will figure that out, right? <laughs> okay, so let's... Actually, I'm going to kind of snip this right off, right down there, because we're going to die cut this piece, and this one, and this one are what we need with our new cut and boss machine. I still say new, because it still feels fresh and new to me. Carolyn, thank you so much for sharing, and Pam, if I didn't say so before, thank you also for sharing. I truly appreciate that, ladies. Okay, so we have, let's see, I just need... So these are some of the dies. I'll show you the other ones um, because we're gonna use them. But here's this one with the whole holly and berries and everything. We've got some other leaves and then with, this is what we want is this little spriggy guy right here is what we're gonna cut our green with. And then with our stitched so sweetly dies, right? We've got, that is the second smallest and the second largest. Those are the two dies that we're using from that set. So actually, let's see, we're going to scoot this one out of the way for a sec because we need to make sure we have room. We've got that one. We've got that one. So I just need to, that is upside down, make sure that, um, and this one, it looks like it barely fits, but it really does. Um, it's just, it looks like it's kind of a tight fit. 
until you pull the dye off of the paper, okay? Hello, Susan. Thanks for hanging out with us. Glad you can be here today. Okay, sorry if it wiggles a little bit. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we've got here. So again, this red velvet paper. Oh my gosh, I just love it. It gets a little, um, just have to kind of clean it off a little bit. Things stick to it. But isn't that, you can hear it, right? I love, there's something about that scratchy, scratchy. <laughs> Just so fun. Okay, and then our sentiment, love and light to you. See how that fit right on there? Because it was the stitching, right? And then, let's just pop those in there. We have this little baby. And if I do that, there we go. So there's our little sprig. And I've already cut three more of those, so we are all set with those then also. Okay. All right, I think let's just scoot this little baby right out of the way. All righty, I think we are ready to put our card together, ladies. Okay, so we're going to add our designer series paper, first of all. Okay, working with my stamp and seal. I know people have had some issues with it. My first comment is don't push too hard. I think people tend to get frustrated and then they push really hard on it. And then it can kind of break it, honestly. So just kind of a nice, easy pressure. And if it doesn't, um, sometimes I don't know where the adhesive goes, but if it goes somewhere, like when I went there, if it didn't work, I just go back to where the adhesive is and use that to kind of draw it along. That's been a good, helpful hint for me that someone shared with me a little while ago. Okay, so we're going to put that right about there, and I'm going to try to get my little flex off of there. Okay, now we can put some dimensionals. And I'm going to kind of purposefully put these two here, and then I'm going to do just a little baby one down in this bottom corner. And I'll show you why in just a sec. Um, let's cut these. Ooh, let me grab my glasses too. These will be helpful for me. So we just want to, with our paper snips, well, hey, Tammy. Yes, please re-watch at your convenience anytime. Glad you can be here with us. Okay, so you can see I've got my paper snips and this is just such a quick, simple little fussy cut right up each side of the candle. So see, we're almost done, right ladies? This is probably the hardest part is cutting around this flame. Oops, am I in view? I'm so busy trying to make sure that I can see what I'm doing that I forget to look in the camera and make sure you guys can see. Okay, so we've got that one there, and then we're just going to cut back down. I like to leave a little bit of white space around my image. I think that helps kind of define it. Instead of getting super close, you just get a little bit of an edge, kind of like the dyes would do also. There, you see that? Okay, so see how quick and easy that was? No big deal to um, fussy cut those candles. So we're going to add some dimensionals behind each of these little candles, right? Okay, so we've got that one there. And maybe put him right about there. And then, hello, Jan. Thank you for joining us. I'm glad you can be here. We've got another candle right there. And then this is why, so I don't want to put a dimensional right there because we're going to kind of overlap that and I don't want it to be crooked. I might just add a tiny bit of adhesive right in the corner there. And then the rest of these things are going to pop up also. So that's just kind of a little pet peeve of mine. I don't like when things are, they look, um, you know, when they're not level, I guess is what I'll say, right? Okay, so now we want to grab our little silicone craft sheet. This is the best little buddy um, that you can use. Here, I'm trying to get these little spriggy guys um, picked up. <clears throat> So to add adhesive to these things, because if you put these right on your grid paper, you're going to get um, adhesive all over everything. So put these right on here, and then it's very easy. Let's flip this one this way to add a little bit of adhesive. Okay, so we're just going to pop those up, and we are going to add kind of a few of these, like two there. And then I did, try not to cover up my sentiment, and then two kind of going that way. So there, you see that, right? Add those little spriggies. 
<laughs> Thank you, Tammy. I'm glad you like this card. And if, if you're thinking, oh, blue, maybe that's not traditional enough for me, you could totally change up, you know, just pick a different plaid, maybe a more traditional um, Christmas color combination. But this is a great, like, simple layout, too, um, is what I was saying. And then also maybe make it a birthday card if you just change the colors entirely, right? Oh, you know what I forgot to do, guys? I forgot to stamp my berries. So we need to do that. Let's do that real quick. So I'm just going to grab my real red ink again and we do have a die for these too can't believe i did that okay so we're just going to do that right there so we do need those little um, berries don't we okay because that kind of finishes things off honestly all right so let's do that Choo, make room for my cut and emboss machine again okay all right let's lay this down on here and there we go so that'll be quick and easy cut those little berries out for our holly right for our sprigs whatever we want to call them okay all right so and i love the little um it's like a little shadow almost on them too super cute right okay so again we're going to grab this little baby back so that we don't get adhesive all over places we don't want it and okay, so here's another example. When that, when I'm putting that down, some people will push really hard and you basically break it. It's not gonna help you at all. You just wanna advance it forward a little bit with your finger or maybe a little bit more with your finger and then run it and there you go. Okay, so let's add these little guys. So we've got our berries, maybe right about there. Now, I'm going to add just a couple of our holiday rhinestones. Do you guys remember these from last year? Still love these. Just add a little bit of red, the red rhinestones, a little bit of sparkle. After I'd made this card, I was like, oh, it just needed a little something else. And I think those little red rhinestones just worked perfectly right there. So there is our first project, right? Love and light to you. I'm glad you guys like that card. And then, like I said, if I had cut the white piece of cardstock, but it's super simple, right? So this is just a four by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. And I stamped in real red, bright and peaceful wishes to you this Christmas with more of the little berries and then the holly. And as that, as I'm saying that, it reminds me that all of the dimensions, the colors, item codes, everything you knew to need to make this card yourself will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. After um, I finish the Facebook Live video, I'll get everything uploaded to my blog. And so you have everything that you need to know um, so that you can make these projects too, okay? And let me know if you ever have any questions. I'm happy for you to call, text, email me anytime. I'm happy to help you, okay? All right, so let's scoop these little babies out of the way. I'm going to grab, because I just got this wet again, so I'm just going to have to clean my stamps real quick, because I love my chamois, right? Susan, thank you for sharing. I'm glad you like that card, too. Me, too. And I've got another really fun, bright, colorful card. That is kind of my MO, the fun, bright, colorful. I like that a lot. There we go. Okay, so those are all clean. It's magic, basically. Magic, magic, magic. Okay, that and that. Get all my trash out of the way. Okay, so our next project. Okay, with more of my red velvet paper. I am totally in love with this paper. So if I get up close, can you kind of, you can hear it, right? I'm like trying to be super quiet. You can hear me like scratching on it, but I love with those candy canes. Isn't that so cute? Wishing you the sweetest season. And then we cut another little peppermint out there. And I think I did cut for the inside here because I had I cut this candy cane thinking I was going to use it here. Already enough going on here. So I was like, oh, we're going to put it on the inside. So for you with Christmas cheer. So cute, huh? All right. So let me tell you guys again dimensions and so on for things. All right. Get those. There's stamps up there. Actually, what do I need? Where's my, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot my ink pad. So sometimes I'll design these cards and then I'll end up, you know, working on some other things and um, pull things out that I need for another thing. And then, oh my gosh, I don't have what I need. So that was my panic for a moment. 
but I think I'm good. Okay, so here we go. And I love, this is one of my favorite color combinations too, is this um, Coastal Cabana and Real Red. I think it was Valentine's Day a couple years ago. We had um, paper in it. It had some black and white in it also, but I absolutely loved that paper. So the Coastal Cabana and Real Red is one of my favorite color combos for Christmas or for Valentine's Day, I would say. So, all right, here we go. We have, this is a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock this time that measures eight and a half by 11 inches. This time we cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches and then scored it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. Always, I can't use a bone folder, ladies. I don't know, so many people are really good at it, but not me, so I have to score everything. Okay, then we have a piece of basic black cardstock, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth, and then two pieces of Whisper White cardstock because we're gonna put one on the inside and then one on top of our Whisper White layer, three and three quarters by five inches. I just made them both the same size so there wouldn't be any confusion for me or anyone else. <laughs> oh, it's very retro, that's true. It is, isn't it? I didn't think about that, Tammy, but yeah, you're right, it is kind of retro. Yeah, there's just something that I really love about it. So, okay, then I think it's basically, actually, no, it's not. This piece, I intentionally cut this red velvet paper I cut to three and one quarter by five inches. And you can see I even brought this piece over from my last cut so that I know I'm when I lay that die in there, I want it to go toward the top, just about like that. Hello, Miss Janina, thanks for hanging out with us today. And then from there, I just have some scrap pieces of Whisper White and Coastal Cabana for my little sentiment. And then this one is for my peppermint right here and then my candy cane on the inside. We'll use that there okay so i think we are good let's do we're gonna probably have to do a couple runs through the um die cutting machine but why don't we stamp let's do this wishing you the sweetest season we can probably do all of our stamping actually okay so we've got this one because i want to do my die cut Okay, so we've got that. Wishing you the sweetest seasons. Isn't that so cute? I love that cursive writing. It's super like, ooh, just the pretty little S. Like, ooh, wouldn't you like to make an S that look like that, right? And then on the inside, we will do this for you with Christmas cheer. We will stamp that one. And then that's all our stamping is. Pretty simple stamping today. For you with Christmas cheer. Okay, there we go. All right, we'll scoot those little babies out of the way. So now let's do our die cutting. So we've got our cut and emboss machine. This would be a great Christmas present, ladies, if you don't have a die cutting machine or if you want to upgrade. Honestly, I love this. So much better than my Big Shot. I don't know what it is. Well, I think one of the things is this nice feature. If you want to take it, I'm trying not to like pinch my finger because you want to be careful there. But both sides fold up so it's like a really compact easy um, carrying kind of situation, you know, if you need to take it somewhere. Um, and then I just love like the sleek white and, and gray look of it all. Beautiful, so wonderful idea, like I said, for Christmas, for a Christmas present. Okay, so let me, I'm trying to kind of help myself out and look at again this one. So we went, maybe that's what I'll do, right about like that. Now I remember, I was trying to kind of, I went up, right up toward the top, really. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks good. <clears throat> so we're gonna just do that one right now and then we'll do our other dies in a moment, okay? And I am, because this is pretty thick um, paper, this red velvet paper. Um, it's got kind of a backing on it. I know a lot of times people think it's like something you could peel off that maybe there's adhesive behind it. That's not the case. It's just the way the paper is made. Um, but look at that. Isn't that so cool? Um, so yeah, you've got your die there, right? And then we've got that piece. And actually, that's what's kind of fun is almost all of those, because it's a little bit thicker, they just popped right out. So very efficient die cutting there, too. Okay, so let's just scoot. I'm trying to get these little... You do get some little red bits, so you just have to kind of swipe those off of there and clean off your table later. But it's kind of fun to make a mess sometimes, too, isn't it, ladies? <laughs> okay, so now we are going to do our other die cutting. And where are those? Let's see. Okay, we've got, did I give myself enough? I have this little teeny tiny piece. I think it's just going to work. There. Okay. There. All right, that's that. And then we have the rectangle 
stitched dies. So I'll show you from these little babies over here in the corner. You've got, well, that's the smallest. So the second smallest and the third smallest or the second largest, whichever way you want to put that. The middle two, basically. Not the biggest one, not the smallest one, but these two in the middle are what we're going to use. We're going to put one and that's another one that, ooh, it looks like it's barely going to fit. But we'll get that one lined up. Um, it just fits right around our sentiment, okay? All right, so we are cranking these through here, and I'm going to go back through again um, because I want to try to get all those little bits if I can. Um, sorry. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle there. <laughs> all the little bits I'm trying to say in um, my candy cane and... It's funny, my mount, I'm like, it almost sounds like it's going to like keel over. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't in the middle of the video there. Okay, so do you see how that just fit? Wishing you the sweetest season. Super cute, super cute. Okay, so now let's see how these guys fared. Okay, so we might have to pop those out. I did bring my, we're going to just pop the little red. So sometimes these come out. I don't really have a rhyme or reason for that. And then the middle one is what's going to help us pop it right out, but that's that one right there. Okay, I'm trying not to lose this little die either. I gotta put it back on my sheet so I don't lose it. And then this one, oh yeah, that's gonna come right up, isn't it? Okay, perfect. We might have to, let's see. Oh, look at that. They all kind of popped right out as I picked it up too. Cause I was kind of flicking it as I was picking it up. So there's our little candy cane too in the red velvet paper. Love it. Okay. Now I think we can kind of put this card together too. Let's get those little bits off of there, right? Okay, so here's our card. This is what we're making. We are gonna start, actually let's put some adhesive on our Whisper White piece. So again, you see how I just kind of advanced that with my finger. I don't honestly know. That is kind of a pet peeve of mine too. I don't know where the heck the adhesive goes. I wish you could just pick it up and run it and it just doesn't always seem to work out that way. So we just deal with it and move on. No big deal. Okay, so now I'm going to add a good amount of adhesive on the back because this piece is kind of thick. And I noticed I want to just put a couple of little flicks along these edges because I didn't on the last one I added and I wished I had done maybe a little bit more just kind of up around. Let's do one more. I feel like I need a little bit maybe right there. So not a lot. Again, I'm working with my little silicone mat. Um, well, Miss Diana, good morning. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving too. Okay, we are going to just put that. Oops, I didn't want that to fall down quite yet because I don't like that white showing on the bottom. Okay, don't stick so well. <laughs> I was like, I just kind of laid it down. I like to be able to maneuver it. There we go. Okay. There, so we're gonna clean that off a little bit. Now, I love, so you guys, I had meant to order this and like just never got around to it for whatever reason. But this is some of the Playful Pets Trim Combo Pack. So you can see this would work really well, although I don't think the red on the red would show up very well. So I used the black and white, this Baker's Twine, like a black and white Baker's Twine. So this is a combo pack though. You get the red stitched and then the black and white Baker's Twine in the Playful Pets Ribbon Combo Pack. So we're gonna just tie this around here. It's always on the wrong side after you flip it there, it seems like. We're gonna tie it in a bow. Okay, kind of put my finger on there. That helps hold things in place. Okay, we're gonna just trim that guy off there. And then just carefully, we're gonna kind of try to roll this down a little bit more so it's at the other edge of things. Oops. There, I think that looks good, right? And then now we can add our sentiment. Let's just do that so we make sure everything looks good. Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive behind this Whisper White piece. Okay. I'm gonna add that onto our stitched rectangle, our coastal cabana, right? Now I want to add and this is another one of those things where, because this is gonna lay right over there. Originally I had put dimensionals just along the middle, but it was all wobbly then because they were kind of on top of the twine. So I'm gonna put four mini dimensionals kind of in each of the four corners. 
and then the twine will cut through the middle and then it won't be like wiggly and wobbly because there's just something about that that I find annoying. <laughs> you know, it's just those little things, ladies. Okay, so we're gonna add that, maybe right about there. We've got our little, um, this little baby, our little peppermint. We're gonna add that just to add a little bit more fun. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm trying to get those things cleaned off. And actually, while we are here with the little silicone mat, we're gonna add just a little bit of adhesive here to add to the inside of our card. Okay, we'll rub that on there so it stays firmly. Okay, we can add this to the inside of our card. So you see how really quick and easy this card comes together, which is my favorite thing, right? You can make super cute cards that don't have to be super complicated, All right? Just enough detail. Okay. Oops, run that one again, try it again, there we go. And I'm gonna add a little bit more adhesive right there and there. I like to do that near my twine too. I gotta to get that adhesive off of there. We'll just put it right on there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah, add a little bit more adhesive down at the bottom where we have that twine because it's gonna bump it up a little bit. So we wanna help it stay on there right so i'm going to press firmly all over and there we go debbie hello thank you for joining us so wishing you the sweetest season for you with christmas cheer isn't that fun so ladies i hope you enjoyed both of these cards let me pull out the other one right here we go so we've got those four cards right um and let me remind you Again, if you are interested in ordering any of the products to make this card, if you want to get yourself a Christmas present or somebody else, make sure you use my host code, the NMDTRRD2. You automatically get one of each of these cards if you put at least a $30 order in using that host code. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win the Gnome for the Holidays stamp set on next Friday's Facebook Live. And if you bump your order up to $50 or more, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial or the Blue Adhesive Backed Gems. So how about that? Lots of good reasons to order. I truly appreciate every single online order that I get. And I hope you guys enjoyed these cards. A couple of last minute inspirational ideas for you to get your holiday cards made. Get those out in the mail. I'm gonna be hoping to get my cards sent out very soon as well. Um, so hopefully you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Maybe you're getting some Black Friday shopping in or maybe weekend, right? Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys have a great weekend and we will see you back here next Friday. Thanks everybody, bye.